everyone and welcome back to your yoga class. I uh, haven't seen, had a chance to see many of you for such a long time, so I'm really glad you're here. We're going to start um, in all fours position. I want to teach today about using the back muscles and strengthening the upper back muscles at the same time as helping the neck. So much of our low back uh, tightness, low back tightness goes into the upper back. So we're going to work on strengthening the upper back and thereby getting more release in the neck. So I'd like you to start in all fours position with the hands right underneath the shoulders. Now the knees are apart and you have the feet apart and you're going to start by coming into a cat cow. So we're going to start by gazing ahead and the shoulder blades slide down. Now tune into your breathing. Take an inhale. We're not arcing the back, but we're just flat. And then I want you to exhale and round the spine. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. And then breathe in. Gaze ahead. Shoulder blades are sliding down. And then exhale and round the spine. Let the tops of the feet press down, rounding into the back. And then breathing in, come back. Now we arc, so you're going to tip the bum bones up, lift the eyes, chin is higher, and then you can exhale and round the spine. Feel as if you're pressing the palms through the floor to get the space in the shoulder blades, and then breathing in, gaze up. And then exhale, round the spine again, press the tops of the feet down to draw the tailbone down. Breathe in, gaze up. Feel good. Keep the breathing in and out through the nose, and then exhale, and again, round the spine. And once again, breathe in, gaze up, open, and exhale, round. Good, and one more time. Breathe in, gaze up, lift. take the knees apart and touch the big toes together and you're on the outside edges of the mat with the, with the, um, the knees then you're going to child's pose back look ahead walk the fingers out drop to the elbows so then you're going to round your spine and pull up from the low core just as we did in cat round you're going to get under your shoulder blades here as the elbows softly press down that'll help to and pull them towards you that will help to draw the shoulder blades down. Now then breathe in, gaze up, arc the back, lift, lift, lift the eyes, lift the chin. Then you can exhale, round everything again, press the elbows down into the floor, tuck the chin, breathe into the upper back, and then breathing in again, you can gaze ahead, just let the eyes come forward, shoulders down, and then you can exhale and round the spine. Pull back from the core. Okay. Now, from there, you're going to walk the hands back up. And you're still in your uh, folded position. And, oh, I meant to mention, if this is a bit much for the knees, you can have a, a bolster or a pillow or a blanket underneath your knees. Sorry about that. Just in case it's a little bit too much pressure. And, of course, you can also have some, under your, uh, some padding under your kneecaps. So that's for us old people <laughs> or tender joints. Now, then we're going to take the opening of the shoulders. I want you to take the right arm, right arm under, palm up, and the left arm on top, and the hands are exing down. So the palms are up to the ceiling. And then when you exhale, you get the top left, top left arm over so much that you can release the forehead to the mat. Or you might have it on a pillow. So this, if I had my head on a pillow, I would have the pillow on my forehead so you can breathe. <laughs> That's helpful. And you're going to really pull the tailbone back. Now, I don't mean to be a wise guy, but just kind of imagine you're letting out a fart. Like, like just <laughs> sound effects help. Just pull the core in so that you really pull the tailbone down. And that will help to open the upper back. And really breathe into that space in between the shoulder blades. The weight of the head is falling completely, and your breath is steady. Keep on releasing the shoulders, 
and take in two more full breaths. Your shoulders are over as far as you can. You're breathing into that space in between. Okay, fantastic. And then you're going to breathe in, lift the chin, lift the head, come up. Okay, you might feel some movement in the shoulder blades. Now take the right arm under. Take, oops, yeah. The right arm is on top. <laughs> Left arm is under. You're going to work that right elbow across. Palms up, release to the forehead. Completely let go. Create space in between the shoulder blades by breathing deep into the back of the nostrils, creating expansion in your upper back. Breathing fully. Excellent, keeping the breathing full. Really good. more breaths. And then on your next inhale, breathe in, lift the head, lift the chin. Come on all the way back up. Okay, you've opened the rear of the shoulders, I hope. And now you're going to take the legs straight in front. We'll do a counter stretch. As you reach the heels out, have the balls of the feet together, the baby toe side pulling back, and then pull the bum bones back so you come right to the front of the bum bones. Now take the fingertips behind about six inches. I've got my thumbs pressing down, and you're going to breathe in, gaze ahead as you press the fingers down, and then exhale. Now press the heel of the hand down, you come back about four inches. And you're going to press into the heel of the hand and the knuckles, both heel of the hand and knuckles. And then you let the shoulders spin forward. Wow, it's going to be a good stretch of the shoulders. So you're pressing down through the palms. Legs are actively reaching out. And you're at the front of the bum bones. And then you press down. Now you're gazing up a little bit, just a tiny bit, not a lift yet. Just up about 10 degrees instead of like here. So just about 10 degrees up. And you keep pressing into the palms. Wow, the, the heels, I want them to reach out as you pull the baby toes side back. And you press into the hands. Most of the activation, if you can imagine, is the legs. The legs. You want to really press the legs out. Press down into the bum bones as the chest opens. So you're going to feel the bum bones press, press, press. Good. Now breathe in. Lift the chin. Gaze up to where the ceiling meets the wall or higher to the ceiling. It depends. What I'd like to have you do is just say, hello, hello, hello. And if it sounds like, hello, hello, that's desperate. <laughs> Don't do it. Take the chin in further, just say hello. And just feel how the shoulders come forward. You press into the bum bones, you pull the legs back, and you let the shoulders come forward, wow. And you keep on lifting from the rib cage. The back is arcing, legs are strong. Reach the heels out. Oh my goodness, I need you to release. Okay, that was excellent. We're going to take the hands behind the head, counter stretch. Tuck the chin. Do let the elbows come forward. And breathe in and out through the nose. Nice steady breath. And then you can let the heels drop. Sorry, let the hands drop and come forward. Now, um, the next thing is to take the legs together to the back. Come on to all fours position. And then extend the legs back. We're going to come right down to the stomach. And then take the feet, reach the feet out. The hands are even with the chest, so right along the nipple line. The elbows come in, and then you reach the feet back. It really feels like um, you're filling them with air, so they blow out. <laughs> and then the elbows come back. Now you're going to gaze ahead, but keep your chin down, please. The gaze is down. Press the shoulder blades back. And now press into the palms. And you're going to come up probably about six inches. Do keep the elbows from bellowing out, keeping the knitting into the side of the body. You keep pressing the tops of the feet down so the pubic bone will pull down. And it also feels like you're pulling your hands down. 
like this. So it looks like you're pulling, it feels like you're pulling down and that helps the shoulders down. And you breathe steadily and then soften if you can, like just a whole feeling of everything being working together as opposed to trying to isolate your bum or your feet. Keep the breathing full. Wow, that's really good. Now just a couple more breaths. Keep on pulling up from the core as the legs actively press down. Okay, that was fantastic. Now, you're going to take the elbows right underneath the shoulders and the forearms press down. Hands are apart. And as you press the tops of the feet down and the shoulders elbows down, you're gazing ahead and you keep the elbows pressing down and you gaze ahead. Now, um, with the elbows pressing down, lift a little more and press the shoulders back. So I fan to them back. They won't squeeze together but you're going to get that activation of pulling the elbows down into uh, imprints in the mat. So elbowing, piercing them into the yoga mat in a gentle yoga cutaway. And you keep lifting from the rib cage as the tops of the feet press down. Make sure you're breathing. Pull up from the rib cage, really active here. So legs press down, so pubic bone comes down. Keep on breathing in and out. Uh, through the nose, so attempt not to open the mouth in this pose especially. It's really good to breathe through the nose. We're getting right into the olfactory organs right in the back of the nostrils. Okay, now you're going to come down and then you take the hands to uh, uh, be alongside the body and the palms up. Now you move the hands towards the feet and you move them down, 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 down. Press the tops of the feet down. Good, drop the chin now and look down. And keep lifting from the rib cage as you move the hands back. Press the tops of the feet down. You're breathing fully, breathing fully. Shoulders come forward, by the way, so that's this movement, forward as opposed to shoulders back. That opens the neck. As you look down, you're reaching out through the crown of the head as you press the feet down. Okay, really good. Now you can take the hands beside the body, bend the knees to come up, and then pull back ever so gently into child's pose and release the forehead to the floor. The palms are way out there, and you have a nice long spine, breathing steadily. And then just do a little shift side to side of your ducktail or of your shoulders a little side to side. However you can feel yourself Wiggle back and get a little longer and more relaxed in the low back. Excellent. And then you can draw up. And from here, come right down onto your back. So we're going to come into a nice spinal twist to finish. I'd like you to start, you know, just with the left leg straight and the right leg tucked in. Now you can pull that right knee in. And then come on into circles, relaxing that thigh. And then come on in the other direction. Great. Now let that right knee rotate to the outside. Right out towards that right shoulder. Good. And then pull, just let the left arm drop and draw that right shoulder. Sort of that right uh, knee to the outside towards the right shoulder. And pulse out there to the right a little to get a release in the inner thigh. Your left shoulder's back, the opposite side. And then you're going to twist across. So take the left hand on the outside of the knee. Take that right arm up and back. Twist to the left, gaze to your right. Keep that right shoulder pressing back into the floor to open. Couple more breaths here. Great. And then you can breathe in and hug that right knee in nice and snug. And then you can let the right leg go. Good. Next in breath, take the left leg up, hug that left knee in. Come on into a really good squeeze. Come into some circles. And then 
and pull that left knee to the outside. Use now just the left hand, let the right arm rest to the side. Pull the knee to the outside, stretch the inner thigh. Do a little pulse to the outside. Stay with your breathing. Breath. And then here you go, in breath. Draw the leg up, come on over to the right. Bring that left arm out to the side, gaze into the left. And you can let that left shoulder drop back as much as you can. And just a note here about the shoulder, for some people that have impingement or um, I had recent shoulder surgery, if, if there's something that you're too tight to let the arm up, it's pulling in here, just let the arm be low. So just notice the best position. And there's the sweet feeling of softening everything too. So you let the body fall and then more and more of your body can let go. One more full breath, tipping and falling to that right side. And then you can draw that left knee up and in. And then pull the legs up. Draw the knees to the outside. Make circles with the knees. You're pulling the tailbone well off the floor if, if that happens, if you can, to get a stretch in the low back. And then circle in the other direction. Coming around, breathing fully. And then you can let the heels drop. You're done. You can let the legs straighten. And if you are coming into Shavasana, now is the time. And you can let your feet roll out in relaxation. And you really do want to do Shavasana if you can. It's, it's, it, it really helps to close the practice, to feel all the effects of the poses. So even if you do it for a minute, you can just let your whole body rest back. The palms. Just roll up to the ceiling and the fingers naturally curl and you let your feet roll out in relaxation and let go. Just feel your whole body soften. Do any little wiggling you need to do to get more in contact with the ground. Oh, here, breathing in and out through the nose to finish. Okay, wonderful. So, I hope that you had a, a really nice stretch. Just email me any comments and please share with anybody that you know needs to help with their back. Okay, great to see you.